Hey there, church family. It's Thursday of Family Bible Week 2020. There are no events on campus this evening, but we're still studying our Bibles every single day. And we're praying for and supporting our Family Bible Week Missions Project recipients, Vision of Hope Ministries in Haiti. VOHM was founded by Pastor Enoch Lucian, who went to be with the Lord last month. But even though Enoch is no longer with us, they still have a vision of hope for Haiti, and we want to help out. A couple of weeks ago, one of Enoch's best friends and ministry partners, Greg Schinke, talked with me and the rest of the Church Family Fellowship meeting on Zoom, and he shared three prayer requests for Vision of Hope as they move forward following Enoch's death. Greg asked that we pray, one, for God to light the way forward, two, for health and strength for the interim leaders of VOHM, and three, for God's provision of finances and new leadership for the days ahead. We're praying for all three of those, and we want to help with the finances to keep the ministry going. The Vision of Hope School, which serves hundreds of students, pre-K through high school, is called College Susan Schinke, named after Greg's late wife. Our gifts this week help to keep that school running. We've set a goal of raising $500 by Sunday. And don't forget, if we beat our goal by even $1, then Kurt Quick has volunteered to take a pie in the face on Sunday at 1 p.m. at the Fellowship Picnic on Facebook Live. The theme of Family Bible Week this year is knowing Jesus, and we know there is no greater thing. Each day this week, we've been looking briefly at one of Jesus' seven I am statements from the Gospel of John. Jesus says, I am, and then he fills in the blank with an amazing word picture, which is both a gigantic claim and a glorious invitation. On Monday, Jesus said, I am the bread of life, claiming to be what we need to satisfy our very souls. On Tuesday, Jesus said, I am the light of the world, claiming to dispel the darkness for anyone who will follow him. On Wednesday, Jesus said, I am the gate for the sheep, claiming to protect the sheep from predators and be the way in to abundant life. On Wednesday, Jesus also said, I am the good shepherd, leading us, guiding us, protecting us, knowing us, and even laying down his own life to save us. Today we look at John 11, 25 and 26. The situation in John 11 is bleak. Jesus' friend Lazarus has died and has been buried. His sisters are grieving hard and they said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. And Jesus answered, one of them, Martha, with these words. Oh, I lost it. He said, your brother will rise again. And Martha answered, I know he'll rise again in the resurrection at the last day. And then Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? That might be the biggest claim that Jesus has made yet. Jesus claims to be the cure for death. Jesus claims to be the cure for death. He doesn't just claim to heal. He doesn't just claim to raise people from the dead. He claims to be the very cure for death himself. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even though he dies, which means that Jesus will bring the physically dead back to life. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. And there he's talking spiritually. If you believe in him on the inside and forever, you will not experience eternal death. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? And then to back up his claim, Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead with just a shout. You know, the same thing is going to happen here in this cemetery on that day, one day. I'm standing at the Lance Free Church Cemetery in downtown Lance. This is where we buried our members for over 100 years. I think 1903 was when the first person was buried in this cemetery. One day, the dead in Christ will rise again out of this cemetery, and their souls will be reunited to their glorified bodies. And one person will do it with a shout. The person who said, I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus Christ invites you to believe in him and never die. See you tomorrow.